On August 18, 2003, TV presenter and disability activist Sophie Morgan was in a car crash which instantly paralyzed her from the chest down. Twenty years on, Sophie will be fulfilling her lifelong dream of riding from London to LA. The Loose Women panelist rode from her home to Heathrow Airport. Upon landing in Washington, D.C., the 38-year-old will ride across the U.S. through iconic places such as the Black Hills, Mount Rushmore, Yellowstone National Park, the Avenue of Giants, Napa, Yosemite and more. Before kicking off her epic journey at the start of the month, Sophie told Express, Co.uk, my anniversary has been looming and I knew I wanted to do something big. I was constantly overthinking it and I was running out of time, but one thing I have always wanted to do is this mad, massive journey. Sophie will be completing her trip of a lifetime, which she has planned and paid for by herself, on a spider, a three-wheeled motorcycle that has been modified for her. Sophie Morgan's fresh heartbreak as car broken into and wheelchair part stolen the trip will take Sophie just under three weeks and she will be on the road for around seven hours a day, going from motel to motel. Then, she'll arrive in LA on her anniversary and have a big party. She'll be accompanied by her best friend who will drive alongside her with a support vehicle that will carry her wheelchair and equipment that will allow her to explore all the landmarks. The trailblazing star continued, This journey is not about putting myself under physical or emotional stress, I have enough of that in my life. This is about having fun. I had my injury when I was 18 and at that age, you've just left school so you're in that feeling of I can go where I want, I can do what I want. This is about replicating the experience I didn't get to have because it was interrupted by my injury. Don't miss! Sophie Morgan thrilled as government vows to protect disabled people on flights, latest. Loose women star fumes I don't want to be here after wheelchair breaks twice, news, loose women star heads to British Airways HQ as airline broke wheelchair again, insight, but am doing it as a way of kind of saying to that person who was injured, look how far you've come, would you ever have imagined you'd be doing something like this 20 years down the line? As for how she thinks she will feel on the day of her anniversary, Sophie says proud. This has been an amazing year, things are just going from strength to strength in my career, my advocacy work and also just as a person. I've just written a book so I just feel like I've got my ST together. It's taken a while to unpack a lot of the CP I brought with me about my disability and various things. Over the years that has shed away so I'm feeling very without sounding cheesy, it's that feeling of, right, it's the next chapter, what's next? Melting